Odysseyers, Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Thanks for joining me and being part of the channel, subscribing and liking. And don't forget to get over to Odyssey. Where are you? If, you're on, if you aren't on Odyssey, then you're nowhere. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of this one. I, I have to put this together for you guys real quick here. You're not going to believe this, so here it goes. I'm going to kind of build up the suspense here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See, I'm a Mediterranean myself, but when I read stuff like this... Scientists based in Japan have successfully 3D printed a hunk of Wagyu beef complete with marbling. Oh my god, they got the marbling in too, so it actually looks real. Yeah, feast your eyes on that. No, actually not. You know, you, you hear all these stories, you know, uh, like this culture, the Chinese culture, they, they eat dogs or they eat cats or you hear all these different... Uh, you know, stories through the grapevine, right? And you you shouldn't believe anything until you see it true for fact with your own eyes, right? But, yeah. So let's take a look at this. I, I'm just kind of like lost for words as of right now. And I don't know if I'm going to touch a piece of meat uh, for a while now after seeing that. But you know what? One thing came to mind. And Canada... Um, was passing a law. I remember this very vividly and very directly because it's important. They were passing a law back in 2017 that made it illegal for people to know where their meat's coming from. Yeah, they actually want to pass a law. I don't know if the law has been passed. I don't know if it's being still written up somewhere or it's being across the floor or what's going on with that law. But apparently they want to make it illegal for you to know where your meat comes from in Canada. I don't know about the States. So that's become an, a problem because we have lots of meat in Canada. Why would we have to import meat from Thailand and China for it? Why? Because they want to keep pricing within check. And if you want to import something 5,000, 7,000, 8,000 miles so you could save a few dollars and we think that we're getting the real deal – then it's a win-win situation for the investor, right? But it's a destructive, and who knows what this stuff could do to your intestines. So here it is. You can't even make this, you can't make this stuff up. Scientists at Japan's Osaka University have proven that you don't need to kill a cow to get uh, a prized cut of beef. Wow. Um, through a technology called bioprinting, they've 3D printed a cut of Wagyu specialty steak. The steak is composed of cell fibers taken from a cow, wow, and assembled to create layers of fat marbling seen in Wagyu cuts. Wow. So it goes on to say here, by isolating beef cells, the scientist organized how the muscles and blood vessels and fat should be stacked. Wow. The researchers then... Uh, shaped these tissues into the form of the steak using a technique called 3D bioprinting, where cell structures can be layered to resemble real tissues in living things. Wow. So there it is right there. It's called Z. Z? Who are these guys on YouTube? Zenger. So here it is. They're printing it off here. And uh, don't forget to check out their channel. And uh, there it is right there. Wow. So I guess it's injecting the layers there of some sorts, or I don't know what it's doing, so I'm not going to guess to think I know what it's doing. The researchers believe that uh, proving that wasagi steak can be accurately 3D printed could be a big step towards sustainable future uh, where cultured meat can be created that closely resembles existing products. Okay, so... Um, Zero Hedge is covering it too. High stakes. Scientists in Japan 3D print Wago beef. And then there it is right there. So this one actually breaks down how it's made. So you got the 3D bioprint of biovine cells there. That's what we were watching in the video. Then the muscle fibers and fat fibers and blah, 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 blah. All right, all right. All right. Let me just get to my point. Would you eat this? And if so, why? And... Do you trust this stuff? I don't trust this. I'm a meditarian myself. I'm a meditarian through and through. I've been a meditarian my whole life. And uh, I, I, I wouldn't eat this. And the fact that, remember, I remember 
when they were saying that they're pa- it was on the radio they were saying they're passing a law to make it illegal to know where your meat's coming from could it all be in the works that it all combines you know they've been pushing this agenda for years they've been pushing this for a long time they've been pushing this crap uh on us for years and you got it we're in the midst of a mass pandemic that's wiping out the globe and they're worried about making 3d printing beef it makes zero sense they should be saving lives but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below on this one because this one doesn't sit well with me right and it's kind of turning my stomach watching that thing go and they are like you know our good friend bill gates there uh the guy that told you at the uh those big meetings and those uh, was it those na- nation nation meetings and stuff with u- nations unifying and talking and talking at these big uh, press conferences, basically stating and seminars stating that we need to reduce the Earth's population. And lo and behold, there is a vaccine in production. So, I mean, by the same guy or b- backed by the same guy, so to say, if that's the right way to put it. But that's what's happening here. Um, 3D printing meat. It's taking it to the next level. I tried to order a pizza not too long ago, and they asked me if I wanted plantaroni on it. I'm like, plantaroni? What's plantaroni? They're like, plantaroni is pepperoni-based plant meat. It looks and tastes like pepperoni, but it's made out of plants. And I'm like, well, I'll pass on the plantaroni and I'll just get real pepperoni. But how do I know it's real pepperoni now? If plantaroni tastes the same, that is the question no one's asking. Are they happy they've been sneaking this food in on us over time? Because if you look at the price of what things cost, like look, uh, the average house here, like in, in one of the, like even in my little city here, a good home starts at about six six four seventy five is for a decent home. In the, and, and it doesn't meet wages here because I'm in a small town with a small population. The big cities, a home starts at 1.2 or 1.7 million benchmark price. But then why is a, a combo at McDonald's still eight bucks? It's not adding up. That's why I bring that. Have they been sneaking this in on us slowly? Or are they adding one ounce of beef in it and saying it's all beef? They could do that too. It's because how they use the language against us. They've been using language as a weapon against us for the longest time. And anytime we question anything, we are a racist. We are a bigot. A Nazi. Well, I don't know. All kinds of stuff. Anyways, fake meat. Yay or nay? Have you tried it? Let us know. Do you like plantaroni? Or do you secretly have a love for plantaroni? You don't want to tell us. Well, let us know now in the comments below. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to your channel. Mike of the Night this Saturday. Big show this Saturday. Big show. And uh, I hope everyone could be there uh, on Odyssey. Exclusively on Odyssey. God bless people. Lots of love. See you soon.